I've been going through the comments, and I made a compilation of what seems like the favorite episodes from this year. Hey guys, so I think this may be the most requested vlog of all time. House tour! And the timing is perfect because we have a new house! Well, it's not really new. I have lived here since I was eight years old, but we did a complete remodel from top to bottom. And here's what's cool. My dad is a documentary filmmaker, my mom is an engineer, and they're both inventors. And they invited my sisters and me to help design the dream house. And it is a dream. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, ready? First up. Okay, so Stacy and Chelsea both wanted a slide. So, mom and dad invented this. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The stairs turn into a slide with a ball pit at the bottom. The ball pit is key. You don't want to have a hard landing on an indoor slide. Okay, this is our kitchen. We have a smart house, which means that you can talk to the house and it will talk back. Hello, house. What's the weather like today? 72 graus ensolarado. <laughs> Chelsea likes to play with the language settings. Oh, we've got this, which is a 3D printer for food. I am going to make some blueberry strawberries. Chelsea, I love the Portuguese. Okay, the rest of the kitchen. That is our kitchen table where we have our meals. The pups even have their own little table. Isn't that cute? This is our juice bar. You know, my family really likes juice, but uh, my dad might have gone a little overboard with that one. Oh, it's done. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we have some glitches we might need to work out. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, right through here. So, this is our living room. That's the front of the house. Oh, this is the chalkboard wall that Skipper wanted so that she could express her moods. This is the family crafting table and here's all our supplies. Let's see what else, what else, what else. Oh, front door. That's where the stairs are, the slide. You know what? I'm gonna show you the rest of the house using pictures because I can't film in my sister's room without the permission. Sister code, right? We need some music. Hello house, play some music. <laughs> Hello house, please stop that music. Nice one, Chelsea. I'll add in the music later. This is Chelsea's room. Isn't it the most adorable room ever? Stacy and Skipper share a room. Stacy's half is a basketball hoop and Skipper's half turns into a sound studio. Skipper loves making music and Stacy loves doing her shooting drills to Skipper's beats. Here's our pool and another amazing slide from roof to roof. Our backyard is great. I helped my mom design this in-ground trampoline and a garden for Chelsea. She loves growing things. And this is our dream house. I love the way we landscaped it in the front. We tried to use a lot of water-friendly plants like succulents. And here we are back in my bedroom. That's the virtual closet you guys voted on before. You know what? I should do an episode on that next time. Peace. So, my sisters have challenged me to do a yoga self-challenge. You know, where you try to challenge yourself to do all types of yoga poses. Although it's not really a self-challenge because they also sent me the list of poses they'd like me to try. I love doing yoga. I try to practice it every single day. And it's called yoga practice because it's not really about perfecting or mastering a move. It's about the practicing of it. It's the journey. All right, let's see what they have in store. Uh, from Chelsea. What? Chelsea? <laughs> okay, I'll choose the first pose. Balancing table pose. From Stacy. Chair pose. Nice. Okay, from Skipper. King dancer pose. Figure she'd pick that one. Okay, another one from Stacy, Warrior Three. Um, okay, that'll be fun to try. Let's see. Whew, okay. Come on, Chelsea, give me an easy one. Hmm, tree pose. 
I wonder what palm tree pose would look like. Okay, and Skipper? Holy moly. Uh, I think I need some more practice with that one. All right, Ugh, time for my favorite pose. <sighs> Savasana. This is for Chelsea. What's your favorite yoga pose? <laughs> Pace. Om. Hi. So you know how I like to try new things. And you know how much I love honey and bees because bees make honey. Well, I have decided to create an apiary. That's right. I'm a beekeeper. I have built three hives and I'm just waiting on bees for my local beekeeper. So I would like today's vlog to be all about honey and bees. First fun fact, honey is the only food that has all the substances in it to sustain life. Enzymes, vitamins, minerals, and water. It's the perfect food. People have been eating honey for thousands of years. There is actually an ancient cave painting in Spain that's 15,000 years old that depicts people getting honey from a beehive. Bees communicate with each other by dancing. I think that's when I really fell in love with bees. When a honeybee finds flowers, it flies back to the hive and it communicates with its friends the location of the flowers, the exact relationship to the sun and the shortest route, all by doing a fun little dance. Honey has natural hygroscopic properties. Well, that basically means moisturizing, which is why I like to use beeswax to make my own lip balm, which is what I did in my last vlog. Have you seen it? No? Go check it out. I'll wait. La la la. Honey bees from one hive visit around 225,000 flowers per day. Whew, I want a nap after that, but not bees. Nope, they never sleep, like ever, which is crazy. One of my favorite healthy snacks is honeycomb mixed with crunchy peanut butter on toast. Yum. Okay, this is the big one. Those cute little dancing bees are disappearing at an alarming rate around the world, mainly because of human-made issues like pesticides and habitat loss. Disappearing bees is one of the main reasons why I wanted to start an apiary. We need bees, not just for their delicious honey, but for the essential role they play in our environment. One third of everything we eat is pollination dependent, which means without those bees, one third of everything we eat just goes away. Every beehive counts. So this is my way of keeping our world safe. I'll keep you posted. Oh, what are some ways that you can be a hero for our environment? Pace. <laughs>